will follow you, Lord. Step by step, day by day. The Bible says that his word <coughs> is what? A light unto my path. His word is a light unto my path. Lamp unto my feet. Are you even interested in knowing what God's will is for your life? Jesus Went through some hard times, did he not? Drove him to his knees more than once. <coughs> Never, though, did he ever deny his father. But I have to wonder, this is just me, my own editorial or my commentary. Did he question the path he was on. And the answer is in black and white. He says to his father, if there be any other way. Did he not? Is that what he said? So we need to understand that even if the Son of God questioned if there was another way. You see, Shortly before his execution, his, his death, before he was abducted and taken away, he had a dinner with his disciples. And he said to them, I've been waiting for this moment my whole life. What moment was he talking about? A fine meal with friends? Good bread, good meat, good God bless eat. Is, is that what is that what is that what he was talking about? I think it might include some of that, but not all of that. But see, during that, that time he spoke and he reiterated some things that must come to pass. You know, the course of the next couple of weeks, we're going to make an observance. Of the Last Supper. We call it communion. And as Jesus was doing this with his disciples, this is my body broken for you. This is my blood. So when he said, This for so this moment that I was born, this is the reason I came. Yet still, yet we see him in the garden praying. We see him praying not once, but three times that we know recorded. Saying, if there be any other way. You see, what we see is that the God man and the and the man Jesus, they really weren't in conflict. They were in agreement. But being fully human, he still had to question. It's not whether he doubted or did he. Was he that so sure of himself? Or was he insecure in, are you getting what I'm telling you? If Jesus had to ask, if Jesus had to pray, don't you think we should? Yes. We want to know what God's will is for us. And it's important to know God's will. Jesus said this, and I want everybody who knows the name of Jesus, is acquainted with that name, to listen to this. He said that his true relations are those who know and do the Father's will. He said this, notice this, his true relation, his true brothers and sisters and mothers, and are you getting this? Watch what he says. Whoever does God's will is my brother and my sister and my mother. Mark chapter 3, verse 35. Now you'll notice also in the scripture this reference in the parable of two sons. Jesus rebukes the chief priests and elders and he rebuked them for failing to do the will of the Father. Specifically, watch what they did not do. They did not repent, neither did they believe. Matthew 21 and 32. So at this, it's the most basic level of the will of God. 
That is the very beginning. That's the entry point. That's the handshake moment. This is the will of God for us to repent of our sins and for us to trust Christ for Christ <coughs> and for our good. Are you hearing what I'm telling you? If we have not taken that first step, now some of us have taken the first step, but we've kind of stumbled on making the second one. And we're going to get on to that. Over the next few weeks, I'm going to be sharing this, I'm going to call it a series because it will be, on, on what the will of this and the will of God is for us. Because I've got to tell you that on a daily basis, I, I find myself on my knees, down flat on my face, sometimes looking up to heaven, sometimes rolling around on the floor, sometimes I just don't know where I'm coming or whether I'm going and say, God, is this your will for me? Especially when I'm having a bad day. <laughs> Can I get a witness? You see, once we receive Christ by faith, according to John chapter 1, verse 12, we're in the process of becoming his children. Amen? And you know what he says? He desires to lead us in his way. He wants to lead us in the way that we should go. Just like we tell them, you know, raise a child in the way they should go. Our Heavenly Father wants us to do the same thing. He wants to be able to lead us and to guide us. Amen? Now, here's the thing. I want you to get this. I want you to get this. I've said this before. I'm going to say it over and over over the next couple of weeks. God is not trying to hide his will from us. His desire is to reveal his will to us. In fact, he has already given us many <coughs> directions in his word. I mean, we're able to give thanks in all circumstances. First Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 18. And you know what? Give thanks, for it is the will of God for you. Is that is that is if nobody here ever heard that before? Have you heard that verse? Give thanks for it's God's will for you. Here's, here's one for you. Do all things without... That's his will for you too. That doesn't mean you're never going to have a complaint. Because he also tells us to bring our petitions to him. Our complaints. Amen? Romans chapter 12 verse 2 says, Do not be conformed any longer to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then, say then, then you will be able to test and approve what God's will is. His good, pleasing, and perfect will. God's will is noble and God's will is provable. Amen? But I need to 